Hey everybody, it's Thorpian, and today I'm coming at you with a video guide on how to unlock the bazaar as fast as I think just about possible. Um, this will allow you to go from starting a new profile to unlocking the bazaar in under 90 minutes. Uh, obviously, I won't show you all 90 minutes, I will do some cut, skips, jumps, but it's a pretty extensive step by step guide, and I hope that this will help you if you're starting a new profile and really want to unlock the bazaar. Um, I put quite a bit of effort into this, so if you could please leave me a like, maybe a subscribe if you're cool like that. Um, so, without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to break three of these, actually four. And get to the hub. That. We're going to make a crafting table, we're going to put our crafting table here, we're going to break two more here, and go across to get to the hub. Quick a little short, we're going to collect from our cobble minion, we're going to get stuck in his mess gonna go to the hub. So at the hub we are gonna go this direction and quickly grab some money. We're also gonna talk to the farm merchant so that we don't have to talk to her again later. We're gonna talk to Tom, talk to Andrew, and we're gonna go over here to the nether war farm. Um, and we're going to go ahead and collect Nether Wart. Now our goal here is going to be to get Nether Wart Collection Level 2, which we may or may not be able to get, depending on how much the Nether Wart is grown. So here we go. We didn't get lucky, unfortunately, and weren't able to get Level 2, but that's fine. We'll come back and do the rest of the Nether Ward again later. So now we're going to talk to the farm merchant and we're going to sell all of that Nether Ward and our seeds and wheat. Now we are going to go over to the weapon merchant. We're going to talk to various people so that we can unlock their shops. the weapon merchant and we're going to buy an undead sword. Um, that's it. Oh, and we need to buy 10 iron ingots, sorry. Alright, now we're going to hop our way this way. We're going to talk to Felix over here. We're going to talk to Vex. We're going to talk to the auction, oops, auction master. And we're going to buy a promising axe from this guy. We're also going to go talk to Jamie over here in order to get a rogue sword, which will speed us up. So we have a promising axe, we have a rogue sword, the, the important bits, and now we're gonna go and chop eight logs. Oops, sorry, we need to talk to the bartender. We're gonna chop eight logs. Two, four, five, six, eight. It's just to give us some storage later. We're gonna grab our undead sword and we're gonna kill 10 zombies. Now, spider's dead. We're going to quickly hop over to Grandma Wolf's house. We're going to use our rogue sword, which we forgot about, of course.
I'm going to talk to Grandma Wolf. Now, if you're going to keep playing on this profile, you probably want to talk to other people as well. Okay, happy hunting, and it's unlocked. Okay. Talk to Shaggy. Not that we actually want to. And surprise, surprise, we are not going to go touch any spiders. So now we're going to make our way up to here. We're going to kill some gravel skeletons. We're going to unlock bone level 50. Or not bone level 50, sorry. Bone collection level 1. We're going to talk to the archaeologist to get our first accessory. And there we have it, bone level one. Again, we're just going to kill these guys on the way, just in case they try to shoot us. And we're going to go down to the gravel pit. careful you will take some fall damage if you take too much you will die so don't do that so here we are in the gravel mines we're going to talk to rick okay good we got a promising shovel we're going to go ahead and mine 50 gravel gravel collection level one that's all we want now we go to the island and we're gonna use our wood to make some chests so we can store all the crap that we're gonna cut okay perfect Alright, to the hub. Now we are gonna go and talk to the bartender. Which we could actually do later. But 100 points is nice. Okay. Uh, next up, we are going to stop by the Nether Wart one more time. There we go. Alchemy level 1, Nether Wart level 3. Perfect. So we're going to get Nether Wart level 3. And we're going to sell all that Nether Wart. Okay. Next up is mining time. We are going to go and run all the way this way. Now you'll notice I'm not actually buying a pickaxe yet. That's because I don't want any of the pickaxes offered here. Going straight to the gold mine, which we can do because of the gravel levels that we got. And we're going to talk to the iron forger and buy that pickaxe. And we're going to talk to the gold forger. We're going to buy that sword. Now the sword is for something later, you don't actually need it right now. And we're going to talk to the lazy miner. We're going to get some free skyblock XP. And we're going to start making our way down to find his pickaxe. So you're just going to travel your way down. And while you're traveling, you're going to get coal level 1 and iron level 1. And you're going to get some gold collection, but I wouldn't recommend necessarily going all the way for gold level 1 or 2 right now. We're going to hop uh, to hub and then go backwards to go to the gold. We're going to go ahead and talk to Rusty over here. 
now we're going to work on mining level 5. Fortunately, we are quite close to that. So we're just going to keep mining coal and iron until we get there. Alternatively, we could have stayed down in the mines a little bit longer at the bottom because there's a slightly higher density of ores until we hit mining level 5. Um, but it really doesn't matter. Either way is fine. We now level level mining level 5 and we've unlocked the ability to go to the deep caverns. So we are going to go over to the deep caverns, begin our mining journey here, or continue our mining journey I guess technically. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get coal, iron, and gold to level 2 collection. And importantly, very importantly, you need to talk to the lift operator while you are here because otherwise you won't get credit and in case you die, you won't be able to go back. There's gold level 2. Alright, so now we have gold level 2 and we're going to go ahead and hop down to the Lapis Mines. There are three things we want to do here. Uh, number one, it's going to be Lapis Collection level one, not two. We're not going to go for two for Lapis. Uh, we want to discover the Lapis Quarry, which is pretty much like automatic. And I would recommend mining in this in-between spot if possible, so before you start seeing Lapis Zombies just because it makes it easier to mine without having to avoid anything. Okay, uh, now we're going to go down to the Pigman's Den. Now, here you have to be careful. Don't actually collect any redstone until after you go past the Pigman Den and start to go to the entrance to the Slime Hill. Um, now the reason for that is that pigmen will become aggressive if you attack them or if you're mining redstone. So once you're past these gates, uh, unless there's like a pigmen right here, you're pretty much safe. So now we're going to go for redstone level 2. Alright, redstone level 2. And we have an accessory bag. We're going to go ahead and throw our archaeologist compass in there and now we're gonna work on emerald so there are two things you want to do in the emerald mine or the slime hill number one is discover the slime hill so I'm sorry three things um, but the other two things you want to do is you want to get emerald level 2 and while you're doing that you actually want to get 30 XP levels the 30 XP levels is more important for our next steps uh, the emerald level 2 is just another collection that we're unlocking but the 30 XP levels are very important, so I'm going to go ahead and use our Rogue Sword now, because these aren't undeads. Um, be very careful with these slimes, their hitboxes are very weird. Uh, they also will... Uh, the larger ones will hit you, almost always, so be careful, and they also will occasionally respawn, like, instantly. Um, so I would try to avoid the slimes as much as possible especially like the big ones and only kill the small ones that are in your way okay that's it so we have uh, all of the things we need and we're gonna go to our island. Um, at the island, we're gonna go ahead and put all of these things away. Um, we should have saved a piece of wood, actually, but we did not.
So we're going to make some things. The first thing we're going to make is a cleaver. Um, the second and third things we're going to make are a golden shovel and a golden axe. And then we're going to put this stuff away. Alright. Now we're going to go to the hub. Actually, first grab our cobble that we got and we're going to go ahead and upgrade our cobble minion just be careful there will be mobs here if you die you will lose points so we don't want to do that okay so now we're at the hub and we're gonna go and enchant our golden shovel with efficiency five uh at this point if you haven't gotten netherwood level three you can go uh you can go and off. Uh, sorry, you can go and get more nether work. Um, so efficiency. There we go. Got a little uh, few levels for that, and we have our efficiency five shovel. Uh, our next step is we're gonna farm wheat to level three. So we're actually gonna buy the rookie hoe. some wheat. Um, the other thing we want to make sure we do, so in every zone there's going to be some people to talk to basically. Um, we're going to want to talk to the farmer here. And we will get some XP for talking to him. Now he also has a quest which we can finish. Um, the quest itself is not that important because um, it doesn't give us XP, but the uh, farmer is. So we're going to do a uh, wheat collection up to level 3. Here, um, so that we unlock some armor. Which I think we might have gotten, but missed it. There it is, but we just gotten it. Now we're gonna go talk to the farmer again. Get a, a hair of farming XP. But more importantly, we can now talk up to the barn. We can do all kinds of things. Um, and we will get 5 XP for having already gotten farming level 5, which is nice. Talk to the farmhand. He's going to say, Welcome, feel free to do all kinds of stuff. Um, Alright, next, we are going to put four stacks of wheat here. The rest of it we can sell as we want um, or throw away. And now we're going to get potato and carrot level 2. So you can get level 3 if you want, if there's a lot of crops here. Um, generally speaking, these are pretty farmed out, so I wouldn't recommend necessarily going for 3 immediately. You can come back and get 3 later. Um, okay, potato level 3, perfect. Now we're going to grab an axe, our golden axe, and we're going to get melon and pumpkin to level 2. So our next step. going to be to go to the barn. Now you do want to get at least 24 pumpkins. So we have gotten pumpkins. Go to the next area. Go ahead and potatoes. Potatoes. And now we're going to grab our efficiency 5 shovel that we made and farm a lot of sand. So we're going to farm some sand. But um, really what we're going to do is we're going to farm our way over to the shepherd's hut. 
And on the way, we're also going to get Cactus. So I would get Cactus level two. All right, so we're over at the shepherd side and I actually wouldn't recommend using the cleaver for this unless the sheep is alone. Um, Cause if you hit a second sheep, it's gonna be really annoying to go and chase it. Um, except for it takes damage, it's gonna run away from you. So if the sheep's by itself, you can use the cleaver. Otherwise I recommend using a rogue sword even though it'll take a couple of hits. Now note uh, that some of the sand over here is fake. Uh, so don't mine it. Some of the cactuses are here are fake, so be careful. Uh, but in the middle generally, and towards the middle of the island, overall, they tend to be real, so. Once you hit the um, mutton collection level one, you can actually choose to shear the sheep, which will get you the wool a little bit faster for the rest of them. Um, it's not that big a difference because it's 50 versus 64, so just keep that in mind. All right, now we have 64 white wool, and that's what we need for the carpenter quest. All right, so we are gonna continue to farm sand as we walk. order to get mining XP, as well as the sand itself, we're going to make our way over to mushrooms. So the fastest way to get mushroom collection is going to be to chop the big mushrooms with an axe. Um, and either mushroom works, uh, brown or red. Uh, the only thing that I would say is make sure that you get 24 total red mushrooms, which shouldn't be too hard. Um, and the goal is to get Mushroom Collection level 3. Okay, so now we have level 3 Mushroom. Uh, we have 64 wool, so we go to the hub. We go to the hub again, because we went to the middle of the hub. And we go and talk to the carpenter in this orange roofed house here. Talk to the carpenter. We're going to give him a stack of wool, and now we've unlocked carpentry. Now we are going to go to the island, because we're at inventory space. You. Do we have any in our ender chips? No. Okay. Okay, and now we are going to craft something. So first we're going to craft cactus armor. Put that in our ender chest. Going to craft hay bales, and then farm armor. We also put that in our ender chest. Craft pumpkin armor. Okay. Now, in the chest. shears all right we have the shears we have the armors 
Now we need to go and do some shopping. Yeah, yeah. Talk to the adventure. So while you're here, you're gonna have money, so you are gonna go ahead and sell the things you don't need. Um, to make some space. Which in turn will allow you to buy a zombie talisman, a skeleton talisman, and you can also buy one of these as well if you want. Village talisman is a solid idea. You're gonna put as many as fit into your accessory bag. We actually need to go to the huddle and buy some weapons. You're gonna talk to the weapon smith and you're gonna buy all of the other swords, essentially except the diamond sword and the regular bow. Buy both of those. Um, you can buy the spire sword if you want, but you don't need it. Your cleaver's pretty solid. And then we're gonna go do our first slayer task. So in order to accomplish that, hop over to the bar. I talked to the bartender. We haven't talked to him yet. I'm gonna go down to Maddox. Now you need to make sure you have two thousand coins. Which is why we made sure we had two coins. So yes, I wish to slay the mightiest beast in the land, specifically the tier one zombie slayer quest. my undead sword. Go slay some zombies. So we're close to spawning a boss. Now the only thing that I would say is make sure that you drop spawn this away from the zombie villagers, the ones in the leather armor because they will kind of like run at you and make this harder to do. Um, you can see in my armor I take no damage at all. Um, and that's it, there you go. Uh, 25 skyblock XP for slaying that boss, and then there's 15 for claiming the level up in Zombie Slayer that you get. So pretty nice, uh, very easy. You just need those 2,000 coins to be able to do it. So we're going to go back and talk to Maddox. And this is very important. You have to talk to him, you have to do this, and then you have to collect this reward here. Um, the menu for that, in case you didn't go into it, is Boss Zombie Slang Rewards, and then you click this. So you get 15 more XP for that. All right, so now we're gonna go and do some wood chopping. So we're gonna talk to the lumberjack. He's gonna give us five skyblock XP. We're gonna collect some logs for him. And we're actually gonna stay here until we get oak collection level three. Okay, we have oak level three. We have at least 24 oak leaves, which you got with shears. And we're gonna go to this crafting table here and we're gonna make oak armor. Now, unfortunately, we don't currently have the space for this, so we're gonna have to throw some stuff in here. All right, there we go. So, sorry, leaflet armor. Uh, okay, so now we have a bunch of armors. Uh, we gotten a bunch of wood, and we're actually going to go to the museum. The museum's already in. Isn't that for endgame players? Well, yes. A lot of the stuff that you can donate to the museum is very endgame stuff, but there's also quite a few early game collections that give quite a lot of XP, surprisingly enough. So, talk to the museum curator. Yes, he opened the museum. Huzzah! Huzzah! Good for him. I would like to help you fill the museum, and I would love the rewards. Yep, yep, mm -hmm. Don't care. Yep, that's great. All right, here we go. We're gonna put in our weapons that we got. 
um, including our undead sword. You can take this back if you want to, if you haven't done the zombie slayer quest for whatever reason yet. Um, you can put in the rogue sword, which you will retrieve, the cleaver, which you can choose to retrieve if you want, um, and the fancy sword, which we bought a long time ago. Um, then we're going to go to armor sets, we're going to put in the leaflet armor, we're going to go to our ender chest and we're going to grab our farm suit, our cactus suit, our mushroom suit, and deposit each of those. Including our pumpkin suit. Um, and I would actually withdraw the farm suit. And use the farm suit now. Okay, so, oh, and most importantly, we have to remember to claim the rewards, because if you don't claim them, you don't get them. So, bam, we got a whole bunch of XP, uh, which gives us access to the wardrobe and to the garden, which isn't coming out until 2023, so I'm not sure why that's there. Anyway, now uh, the next step is we're gonna do some foraging. So we already started with oak. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and get 100 of each of the other woods, except for we're gonna get 144 of birch. of these. Alright, we're good. Just got a little bit too many birch logs. Alright, next we do spruce. Okay, so technically we've now hit jungle level 2, um, so we would be done, but in order to get to the next foraging level and give us a little more XP boost, I'm going to go ahead and chop like maybe 30 more jungle logs, if that. Alright, there we go. Next step, back to the island, where we will first drop off all of the extra crap that we've picked up. And now we're gonna go ahead and actually make our first minions. Now normally, um, I think minions are a waste of time to make because you only get a little bit of XP for them. But um, in the case of the wood ones, they're very like the same in terms of the formula for them. And so they're super convenient to make. So you're gonna wanna make one, two, three, four, five, six axes. And then you're just gonna do all of the four different minions. So you're gonna put jungle, um, then you're gonna do oak. Um, now oak, depending on how much wood you got, you might be able to level again. Just, oh, no, we can't. Yeah, that's what I thought. No, I mean. All right, every time I want to do that. Okay, uh, dark oak. And I always want to miss one, and it's always spruce, and I don't know why. Okay, hold on, that's five, right? One, two, three, four, five. So there should be six. What am I missing? One, two, three, four, five. Birch. Oh, and I don't have. Yes, I do. Birch. I always miss it. Every time. Okay. Now we can go ahead and throw all of our woods back in there. Um, we have successfully gotten pretty, pretty up there. We can actually go ahead and put away everything except for our golden shovel, our rookie sword, and our rookie hoe. And then we're going to go to the hub. Now again, if you haven't gotten nether wart yet, now's the time to go get nether wart. But otherwise, our first step is going to be some more wheat farming. Let's 
So our goal here is going to be at least level 4 of Wheat and Seeds collections. And there we go, we've unlocked Auto Pickup, just in time for our farming adventures. Oh, we've already got level 5, and we're actually going to go ahead and keep getting Wheat until we get the next farming level. Or rather, until we get to the Barn Island, not the next final level, there's no point. Okay, to the barn. We're going to grab our sword, um, and this is where I would recommend a cleaver. And leather level two. Now that we have those collections done, so pork chop, uh, feather, raw chicken, and leather, we're gonna go ahead and go to the Baw Desert. I'm just gonna call this the Baw. I don't know why. So we're gonna go over to the desert. And now that we are at the desert, we're gonna grab our golden axe, which we kept. And we're going to get some more collections. Uh, the first one that we're going to go for is sugarcane and cocoa. Both of these are pretty easy collections. Um, we're going to go at least level 3 of sugarcane. We're going to go for level 2 of cocoa. And now we're going to go ahead and finish things up with uh, our handy dandy favorite, uh, which is going to be sand collection. Yay, we love sand. Nobody loves sand. That's um, if you remember, we kept our shovel for this exact purpose. And we're just going to go ahead and get another mining level or two or three. Specifically, we are going to go for mining level 11. Uh, unfortunately, you may not have the inventory space to continue to be able to hold things. Um, if you have slash craft, you can craft your sand and thus get some carpentry levels. If you do not, uh, you know, tough nuggies. And you will just have to keep the sand or just let it fall and you won't get any sand, uh, which is a little annoying. Um, I would actually recommend that if you fill up your inventory, you drop the sand so that you will again receive sand. Um, this will allow you to get a little bit more sand collection. Unfortunately, as you can see, the shepherd... Oh, the shepherd does have a crafting table. A fake crafting table. It's not usable, sorry. Um, so I'd recommend dropping it so that you can go ahead and get more. Alright guys, so there we go, that gives us mining level 11, which is going to take us uh, to be about 90 out of 100 XP. Um, you'll see here I have a little more because I got some extra from um, picking up some random crap on the ground, which can happen sometimes. Um, you'll also might get a little extra if you, for example, see a full cactus field. Um, but more importantly, 
what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back to our island we're gonna make a sand minion and we're gonna upgrade this sand minion as far as we can Uh, which will give us a carpentry level and will get us very close to skyblock level 7. Uh, in my case, obviously, it got me there because I was a little bit ahead of the curve. Um, and here you're going to have some choices. So at this point, you'll be about 2 XP away, uh, which in other words means you need to craft 2 minions um, based on the guide. If you followed it to the letter, you should have enough coal and iron to craft the minions you need. Um, if not, you can always go and get another farming level by farming wheat in the hub. So here we go, I'm just gonna show you that we're gonna be the right amount of XP. So there's our iron minion. And there's coal. So as you can see, we are now going to be at Skyblock level seven, even not counting those eight extra XP we got. If you're short one or two XP for whatever reason, um, you will also hopefully have enough cobble to upgrade your cobble minion one more level. So you can do that as well. And there you go, guys. Uh, that's basically the guide on how to unlock the bazaar in under 90 minutes. Um, a couple of things that I would do differently. Um, there's not much. Actually, there's really not anything. That's, that's basically it. Just make sure that you keep the tools that I'm going to show you to keep uh, when you deliver to the museum. Other than that, hope you all have a great day. Please like and subscribe if this guide helped you. Bye!